middleweight matchup here between Bruce Lee and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be before. There might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United States. Gave him a, yeah, <laughs> one, and gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Gamebred. Connects with a right. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Look at him whip his hips into that kick.
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Over and over, he's landed a big body. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, Masvidal on a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. If you got him trapped to try to hit the forward takedown, he evades and escapes. Phenomenal fight. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge game bread Masvidal. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good punch land. Oh, a huge block there. Right hand landed. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And there comes the separation now. Seconds of round one. Takedown defense holds up. Five minutes in the book. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, round two. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Big kick lands. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Nice punch there by Will. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Knee to the body! Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Just over three minutes to go. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, single collar tie here. And now Masvidal's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Body kick is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Effective strike there by Gamebred. Try to establish that jab. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Going orthodox now. Whoa! Oh, oh my God. Wow! Wow! What a performance! 
Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Crush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.